What's up, folks? This is day five of the Golf Grand Prix. Here you'll see Torrey Pines, two replays for this round, and also nine-hole event. Here you'll see ramped up rewards. So we're starting to get a couple more balls thrown in. You'll see a very attractive Pro DX as well, and uh, five bags to be had, and also some nice all stat pins that you will see here. And uh, the other thing that you'll see is scaled rewards for Pro versus Tour Pro, or as you progress up, you're going to see the pins and balls all escalate to a better tier. So, pretty good structure for kind of getting your account up. And here you can see Tory Pines. We're going to jump in, and I did take the liberty of just setting up. You'll see uh, Highlander. Um, you'll see Viking Raptor, Spectra, Zeus, Voodoo, and the Sphinx. So we set it up exactly like you see there. And that will make it that much easier for these ring adjustments. So this is going to be about a two ring adjustment. I'm just going to blast this down here as far as possible. Hopefully that great ball doesn't come into play. I don't think it will. You will have to be very careful on these. These clubs, they don't all have very good accuracy. So you have to be very careful off the tee. Keep that in mind as you're progressing through your rounds. And let's put on Spectre here. Oop, it looks like we're going to get to Zeus range. So, and this is going to be very close to max Zeus. It's going to make for a little bit easier adjustment. An 835. 835. Again, put the ball guide relatively short. It's probably missing some guide. Similar to this. Just going to let that stretch out, that guide. Play this pretty close to uh, me, uh, max club. As you can see, it was very close. I'll probably go just a little bit inside max. You know, let's call it uh, something like this. Eat one, something like that. And you can see that's exactly more or less what I did there with my ring adjustment. Let's just give this a go. It's coming in. Ah, so just a little bit outside. I might have set that ball guide up just a little bit to the right. Probably should have got my alignment a little bit better. It looks like everything played out pretty well. Ring adjustment looks pretty good. Um, more or less, I just feel that we uh, probably tried to set up just a little too much to the right, thinking maybe some effect would take place. Here you can see Max. We're going to be very close to Max. I'm just going to do a... I might actually have this one. I might not have to do this one. This is one of the few that I probably have. Yeah, so that's saying it's 22 rings. We're going to be very close to max. Here's max. We're going to be about four from, give or take. And maybe even less. We just use some, some max club. We're going to try to play this one aggressive. We'll probably just go pretty close to the max value. You're seeing three, four. Just going to kind of estimate it freehand as best as I can. Maybe we'll just overpower slight. Just a small amount of overpower. Make sure this gets behind the hole. We are trying to play this fairly aggressive. It didn't quite get over the hole. So be a little cautious there. You may want to pull out just a little bit better ball. A little bit, uh, maybe even like a power thing. As you can see, um, the alignment looked pretty good. We just needed to get it behind the hole, which I didn't do. So um, utilize your practice if you have to. Take off some of that top backspin. You can see I didn't have to crank it quite so much. So I can take off some of that. We can bring it in with more of a little bit different approach that way. And this is going to be a great opportunity. Potentially use a power pin. I think it could be the difference. So maybe driver wood. What's nice about driver wood, you'll see extra top spin. And this is a perfect club for extra top spin as well. So we're going to go, you can see from last, the last hole, it was about a two ring adjustment. We're going to go about two rings. 
Make sure that you are careful to get close enough to your ultimate shot that you don't get a pull. So, and there you can see that. Looks like I kept that just a little bit too north. I shouldn't have been quite so aggressive. I figured, you know, it was going to slope down the fairway. Probably just got just a tad bit too careless there. So if you could help yourself, I definitely recommend trying to keep a little bit of that off. Expect this to maybe play a little bit. I'm just going to kind of point it towards the left of the cup. And you can see, obviously, I'm keeping the ball guide short. And why is that? Because there's so much ball guide that's missing. And maybe just a hair bit more. But you can see how much guide is actually missing by how much that rolled out. So we still rolled four or five feet past. But a very good opportunity for you guys there. So try to capitalize on this hole if you can. I'm just kind of trying to rush through these kind of as fast as possible. But I definitely recommend taking a little bit of extra time. Um, and maybe if you want to play all nine, is just kind of like, keep in mind you have two replays. So if you do want to play all nine and then just kind of back off or, you know, maybe go for it a second go, that might be something worthwhile. But this one, we're going to try to utilize our curl a little bit early on my release again. I think it's not going to be affected. You'll know immediately. You're going to get a, a straight pull. It's going to either shank or push. Push, pull. Um, if you miss that perfect ball, you're going to know it. You probably will miss the fairway. So make sure that you are being very careful with that. I don't want you guys to wind up in the rough. I just kind of, you know, rush through sometimes. This is going to be very close to min club. Yeah, I think we're even going to have to short hit it by the looks of things. So min club is saying two rings. This also likes to break to the left, so I know I'm going to put some right spin on it. Let's see if I have room to even go two rings. I bet you even this is still too aggressive with my uh, top uh, with the ball guide. Keep in mind at min club, not a lot of backspin at all. Potential to use um, a pin here as well to try to crank your backspin up. A little bit extra backspin will definitely help. And you can see I'm going to keep it towards the top. We're kind of short hitting this a little bit because I'm worried that it is going to roll out very aggressively, as you can see it did. So maybe cranking up your backspin just a tad bit more. But you're going to see a good opportunity for you to make this one. So try to capitalize, maybe even um, back off some of that top spin. It'll be a tougher, this is a little bit tougher hole at min club there. So if you could maybe do a no top spin shot, for example, or at least backed off top spin. Might make for an easier setup. The alternative is you could try to go and get it to Zeus distance. And Zeus may be more holdable. So if you did want to play it that way, totally fine and maybe highly recommended as well. And here you can see we're going to get this one off the tee. Same thing, we're going to try to uh, get it out here as far as possible. Try for Zeus range. So definitely recommend that. Let's just see what we got here. See if we made it, see how close it is. Assuming some kind of spin, we're going to be able to use Zeus. I just don't know if it's going to be right at the max line. This ain't too bad. Imagine we're going to have to stretch out to maybe a different, utilize a different one of these, for example, Hive, for example. Let's try that one. Did I pull the wrong thing off? Yeah, I did. Let's try Hive and see what that looks like. So Hive looks pretty good. This is pretty good scale, almost exact. So we'll use that for our distance. We're also gonna try to straighten out this ball guide. Something to the effect of this. Imagine just a little bit of ball guide missing. On this shot, so you see that I'm keeping it short. Next, we'll just turn sideways and figure out a good percentage to go. Looks like 82, 83, somewhere in there. Let's give that a whirl. Seven rings, pretty much straight up, maybe. So straight seven. Let's give it a whirl, see what it looks like.
Coming in, looks pretty good. Oh, just over the cup. So maybe just a hair, you know, one tenth of a ring, very, very close. I gave that a very good run. Definitely something that you want to focus on trying to get. I definitely can see you guys getting that one. Few shots already. Um, very, very approachable. So hopefully you guys get some success on some of these shots. And here you can see this is going to be a little bit trickier. A little bit in between clubs, maybe. So let's just... And this is where things like this could come in favorable. So we could go backspin, for example. Crank up the backspin, give us a couple extra bars. Min club... Saying 1.8 will be very close to min for this adjustment. 1.8. Let's just try this, see what it looks like. I'll try to use this last ring to the best of our advantage. Let's try that. That's like 1.85 on the ring adjustment. A little bit of extra backspin. Should help control this. A little bit heavy there. So maybe just a little bit less on the adjustment. But you can see that extra backspin. It really helps it check up. So you don't have to worry about going into, you know, short hitting, anything like that. So the backspin definitely worked. If anything, you just got to be a little bit careful with your ring pull. Um, you can use your practice pens to try to really hone in on that adjustment. It might be more of like a 1 7 adjustment. This could be just a little bit heavy at 1.8. So keep that in mind. Let's just crank this one out here. Very similar to what we've been doing. Just be sure on those great balls that your timing is close enough. Which I'm pretty sure mine was. As you can see, right down the center of the fairway. You would know if you pulled it. So the fact that you don't pull it... It's proof that you still got your ultimate shot. So all of those convert to ultimate shot as long as you're very close on your timing. Because the ball has, this ball naturally has like, I think like a plus seven boost or something. So as long as you're within 7%, you should be able to get it. And this is what, about 12, 13 rings? Maybe 11 rings, coming back up to 10. Maybe 10 rings for max. Three, seven. 10 rings for max. 2-7 on the ring adjustment. You should also see I keep that ball guide very tight. It's going to collapse down a little bit when you get yourself in these situations. Just going to kind of do this very quick, rapid 2 six, seven, very close to that adjustment. Let's just see how this comes in. Looks pretty good. Let's see if it backspins. No backspin. So... Um, I tried to play it uh, back, and uh, we should have uh, just kind of changed and maybe just try to land it on the hole a little bit more. So you guys can make that modification yourselves. Hopefully you can, uh, you know, really hone in on some of these. As you'll see, a lot of really good opportunities on this setup. So, and here you can see a nice, a really nice one as well. This is a good chance for you to, you know, maybe we could go free to play ball, um, you know, with some kind of pin boost or something, if we, if we even need it. The question is, do we even need a pin boost? 11 miles per hour. You know, I'm thinking maybe top spin, something like that. And this is just giving you guys a reference. So, and if you guys don't like what you see, Just kind of make a tweak off of what I'm doing. And it looks like that ball still flew straight. So I was close enough on the timing. Keep in mind, if, you, if you're if you not close enough on that window, you're going to know. It looks like this is maybe just a little bit aggressive. May only need 10, 20 extra topspin. And we can do a Mojave. So very good opportunity for you guys not only to get the eagle, but to utilize some pins. And... Uh, you know, get herself up here in position and pick up a nice, easy, smooth, easy going eagle. 
hopefully you guys can do that. Best of luck on that one. And here is hole number nine coming up. See if we can round this out. Swap back over. You know, maybe use something else here. Let's try an Ike. Curse ball here. Let's uh, blast this down. Try to go for the make here. And there you can see the ultimate. I think it's going to be spec, but maybe not. I'm not quite get this far. Let's see if it did get to spec or not. If it doesn't, that'll be a good indicator for you guys on what to do. This looks pretty good. The only issue is I'd probably like to drive it just a little bit farther so I can utilize my full backspin. I'm not going to be able to use full backspin because I can't quite put it up there. So you're going to see we're just going to have to wing it just a little bit more. We'll get our alignment like this. And we're just going to use the max number. And this was what, probably about four backspins straight up. You can see my ball guide well short. And it's saying what, 255 at max for 3 1. So two and a half rings, maybe just a hair more. Exactly what we're going to try to do. And let's just see how this plays out. Looks like our alignment's good. Oh, it just stops. But you can see right around four spin, that's going to be the ticket. We missed on the right edge, um, just a little bit short. Four was like a backstop. Um, if you could just get that out there a little bit farther, you'll be able to set up, utilize, crank up a little bit more backspin. Maybe try to, try to get that just a little bit tighter. Um, makes it definitely a possibility to grab that albatross. And you'll definitely want to be... You know, pinning for those uh, top rewards here. Keep in mind that uh, the rewards are scaling each and every day. So every day you're seeing a little bit of an enhancement on some of these rewards. So best of luck there on day number five, guys. We will see you guys for day number six coming up. So best of luck and see you guys then.